entering into uh, Bear Cave Wrestling Club uh, facility at the Greeley Windsor border area. Owner of the club is Ben Lombarder. He's got two and a half full mats. Weight room at the end. Now it is not a big deal. Getting bored because you want to hold on and try to flip him and go onto your back, that's a big deal. That is that loses. Okay? Ready. You can out wrestle him, but you don't really need to take a lot of chances here. You got one minute. This is Tom Blair with Inside Colorado Wrestling. I'm here interviewing the head coach at Bear Cave Wrestling Club. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself there, Ben. Yeah, well, uh, I started this club um, about 12 years ago when we were, I was coaching at UNC, trying to connect with the community, and it just grew, it grew into um, something a lot bigger than what we had intended even. Uh, now I got my own facility out here, and uh, we train. Um, six days a week on most times of the year and um, training guys for Fargo right now. And got, you know, we're a year round club, all different age groups. Um, July is more Fargo training and camps and then uh, back to regular schedule next month. When did you start the, uh, uh, have or built this building right here? This has been in here for about a year and a half. And then we, when COVID hit last year, we, we we pretty much started up full time here because we couldn't get into the high schools and and we had gotten our commercial status by then. Okay, um, some people don't know you, Ben. Uh, you're a two time uh, NCAA All American, two time uh, Washington uh, State of Washington uh, champ. Uh, you've had two boys that uh, gone to Windsor High School. Uh, Will was a three time state champ. Uh, Vince was a two-time state champ. Um, so what motivates you to uh, to have this club uh, and stay involved in wrestling? Uh, well, I can impact a lot of people when we do. So we, we get, you know, with all the different age groups that come through here, um, we'll have over 200 wrestlers coming through. And I might be understating it. Um, come through throughout the year at different times of the year. So preseason, and then our, our folk style season, which we do have some high schoolers still train with us then, um, and then our our freestyle season, and um, I like I said I can impact a lot of people in different ways. So just getting getting everybody involved in in the combat sport of wrestling I think does a lot for them in life. And even if it's not their main sport, and maybe it's just something they do for a season or two, uh, I want them to have a good experience and, and learn some some things from it. And then it goes, you know, that goes all the way up to people having success at the middle school and high school level, and and then um, for the ones that really love it and want to do it uh, at the next level, and we we've got you know helping guys wrestle in college. So we got banners, we got banners throughout the room. Of, Kids going, you know, the schools that our wrestlers are going to are going to and have gone to. Um, so, what are some of the uh, schools in, around that you impact uh, quite a bit with? Do you mean high school? High, high schools. School. We have we have wrestlers from everywhere. I mean, we don't. Um, we're not a feeder program for anybody. We're we're closer to uh, Roosevelt and Windsor and Severance and the Greeley schools and Four Cones, but. We have wrestlers, I mean, throughout the year, we'll have wrestlers from 20, 25 different high schools training with us. And it's not a, uh, my boys went to Windsor High and Windsor High had a lot of wrestlers in here and um, helped them um, with success. But, you know, we're feeding, we're feeding everyone all the way down to the Denver schools. Okay. Uh, just trying to make, Look, I mean, here's the bottom line. If you want to get better at wrestling, I want to help you. And 
you can come from anywhere. We got guys who come from the mountains. We got guys who come from the plains. We're we're here to help. We're here to help those who want to work hard and stay dedicated. And if you do, this is the place to be. So you start the kids in the youth program. Uh, what's the lowest level in the youth program as far as age-wise? Six. Start them at age six. I know some of them are ready before then, but that's uh, that's age six. If we have a six-year-old minimum, we get a lot more out of the, the group in general, even if they're beginners. We get a lot more out of them. They're a lot more active. It's, it's a lot, more, lot more attentive. Yes, and so it makes a productive practice, and some of them progress fast. But we we got a, a progressive system to where they've got to learn a certain skill set show a, a certain amount of maturity before they move up to the next level which is longer practices a little more um, another day you know an extra day a week uh, and a little higher intensity and it's just gradual from there and so the kids aren't feeling over their head um, and if they don't, you know, if they don't have the attentiveness, I, I'm not forcing that on them. Um, all the classes are at a, at a higher pace and, and you know, is a different, different structure, but keep them engaged. They have fun, even at all the levels, but the intensity moves up. They, how, much, how much they're on the mat, how much live, it progresses if they're ready for it but they got to be ready for it they have to be able to learn skills learn moves learn skills which there's some difference i mean uh you know if you uh if you can't hop on one leg from one side of the room to the other then i'm not i mean i'm not teaching you how to leg ride or something with a higher um with higher set of coordination right so there's, it progresses with what they're ready for okay um how much uh, training do you do with the high school kids off or not off season? I know they do a lot of summertime training here, two or three times a week, uh, a couple times a day. Uh, what about during the season? During the high school season, it, it's uh, we have they they can come into the regular practices. Um, so those go at night. Those are at seven. And you know, look, here's the thing: some of some of them get enough at their high schools. Um, some of them don't and they don't have good training partners um, so they need a little bit more and they can come here just to, to get some um, some higher you know some more live I mean right. some of them just don't get enough and, and it's with their training situations and it's not always also going fault. with the old saying that iron sharpens iron yeah I mean it's just if you're at a if you are at a, a program that has lots of workout partners, you may not need it. But if you're, you know, if you're at a smaller school and and you only got ten guys on the team and and they're not all around your weight class, you might need to get some extra in. So that's that's what I have uh, available for them in the regular season. So what do you see the future of Bear Cave? Uh, continue to grow uh, with what we're doing now. I mean, I. I I want to see guys graduate high school. Uh, I want to see. I want to see our wrestler. I mean, if, if you're talking about how big are we going to grow it, I don't know. What I get enthused about is seeing guys come back from college, or seeing guys um, that maybe they don't even go off to college, but they're they're working, and then they want to get back and they're they're uh, you know starting their own clubs, or they get involved and stay involved in our club, and just uh, you know being productive members of the community. And I just I, I enjoy the reach we have with so many wrestlers and watching them progress as people and, and good uh, in, impact in their life. This being a full-time uh, club uh, year-round and everything else, I'm sure you don't do it all by yourself. Who else do you have helping you? I got, uh, I got really good um, assistance and you know Ben Barros has been with me for a long time. His son's in middle school and he's uh, He's able to coach all the different age groups, and he's, he understands the expectations in the room, and, and um, he can run a room. He can work individually with somebody, um, can run conditioning. I mean, he's he's a guy that uh, he's got it. He's got it all figured out, and fortunate to have him. Uh, Chaz Paulson is a he wrestled at um, University of Wyoming. He's a Colorado guy. Lives around here now. 
helps out. Um, it's been helping out a lot with our bigger, older guys. And it's about 200 pounds, so um, he's able to. He's 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 one of our main coaches in here now too. He runs practice, wrestles with the guys, um, does a variety of things. And now you you also run uh, summer camps. Uh, uh, tell us a little about that. So the end of July and the beginning of August, uh, we'll have camps for different age groups. We've got a little hammer. So we did our youth camp. At, it uh, sold out with 50. We max out at 50 just so we can make sure everybody gets a good experience. Um, little hammers coming up, middle school camp and high school camp. So, you know, that little hammers is for experienced youth wrestlers, um, no, not beginners. And... Uh, it, camp is awesome here. So they learn high level technique. They get, uh, you know, good, great partners in here. And then in between, they do fun stuff. So we, we play paintball. We have the little guys, they, they play Nerf Wars. We set up a bunch of barricades in here and they play Nerf. Older guys play paintball. Uh, and we do different activities. I mean, we're, we're playing disc golf. We compete in everything. Uh, bags. Um, we, we just, uh, there's, there's a bunch of different competitions. So it's fun downtime. It's a full um, full day camp and overnight camp for the old. For so the if someone hasn't heard about Bear Cave and needs to find uh, more information about your club and what you do here, how do they go about that? Uh, get on our website, bearcavewrestling.com. If, if you Google search Bear Cave Wrestling, um, our club will come up. So, and if you got questions, you can give me a call. My number and emails on the website. And, uh, if you, I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna, um, if you have a desire to get better and are willing to pay the price and hit the workouts, this is a great place to be. Well, thank you for your time, Ben, and keep up what you're doing. Uh, your success around the state uh, with the youth club and helping out with the high school is uh, well noted. Thank you.